It's great to see you here tonight for the season for premiere in the UK for Game of Thrones. If you could give your character, Alaria, some advice for the future, what would you say to her? Gird your loins. You're in for a bumpy ride. Um, <laughs> yeah, keep it cool, keep a cool head. And, um, and stay your course. Don't get too hot-headed. Good advice, definitely. Now, of course, there's loads of great characters in the show and you interact with some of them. Um, can you tell us what you think of Cersei? She's a bitch. But no, she's... She... Lena is fantastic. I love Lena. But Cersei's horrible. She's horrible. But she's so clever. Incredible. Yeah. But, you know, I've joined now, so... So head to head, now, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> now, we don't want to lose you yet because you're just joining. But if you had to die in the show, how would you like to go out with a big bang? Oh, gosh, it's really difficult because I've realised that I die in quite a lot of stuff I do. <laughs> I've been shot several times and come back from the dead. I've been hung. I've fallen off a balcony. Um, I've been shot with a bow and arrow. It would have to be something spectacular. Maybe burnt to death. I mean, not me, but Alaria, you know. Or, or drowned in sand. Oh, oh, I like it. Human burial, you yeah, know, yeah. like, that's gross, name, isn't like it? it? But you know the clink fairly near here? Um, they've got, th I, it, I can't get it out of my head. There's a, a, a cage where they used to put a rat inside a cage that was on top of your stomach, and then the rat couldn't get out, so he would eat his way out. That would be pretty awful. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't like to go like that, but I mean, it <laughs> might look great on telly. <laughs> Spectacular death. Now, George R. R. Martin's talked recently about the possibility of a, of a Game of Thrones movie. What do you think about that? I feel like you haven't finished with the TV series yet. And also the beauty of television, which we're all learning now, is that you really can give space and you can build on characters, you can make them contradict themselves. Bring it on, TV, you know. And finally, what can you tell us about what it's been like working with Pedro Pascal? Because, of course, a great new character like you are in the show too. Yeah, uh, P Pedro and I got on really, really well. And we had to be... Our, our love, our relationship in the show is really intimate and intense. But we're, um, we're experimenters, if you like, sexually experimenting. So uh, we swing always. Um, but there was a real trust between the two of us and uh, a simpatico and it was really lovely to have a laugh and play with them. I felt safe. It was great. Yeah. We look forward to seeing you on the screen. Thanks so much for talking to Zendira.